you're doing bad habits on a daily basis, mm -hmm. but you're not doing anything about it. But you, you the type that's like, okay, I'm doing, I'm doing bad habits. My life not changing, but then you still mad. You mm -hmm. mad, but you not making no mm -hmm. type of progress in order to get to that next level in your life. And like I said, with being the goat in your family, bro, that means a lot to me. Yeah. Like I really want to make history in my family. I want to do the things for my family that they couldn't do, well, for my kids that my family couldn't do for me, and then right. still take care of my family, y'all. Right. So it's like, man, my bad habits, I have to cut them off. Like, it's, it's no question. You got to. I got to set the example for my family. Yes. Because once we do this, bro, this going to set an example in my entire family, bro. Yeah. Bad habits, bro. We all going to have bad habits. Right. But I want it to where, man, when we see a bad habit, we acknowledge it, right. and we try to better it. Yes, I'm sir. not trying to have no bad habit, just keep it in the yeah. dark. Yo, what's going on world? It's your boy Doug. I'm with my co-host K Ross. What's going down? Y'all, welcome to another edition of the Bigger Dream Podcast. Ross, what's going on with you, man? Hey, you know me, baby. I'm always blessed, man. Feeling good today, pumped up for another week, man. Like I would tell you, bro, I'm just glad the weekend over with. Mm. We get to get ready to work, you know what I'm saying? So, Not man, good. I'm just pumped up, blessed, man. Feeling good today. How you doing, bro? I'm feeling good, man, y'all. Today, Monday, like you said, man, the weekends, we be dreading the weekend. Ooh, man. Hey, weekdays, we be trying to kill it every single week. Tell you. Oh man, today uh August 3rd, man. Uh let's talk about last month. Uh how was July for you, man? How was man, hey, July, July was a great month for me, bro. I mean, for us uh especially, though, but July for me personally, bro was a good month, bro. Just cracking down on myself, man, just really again dissecting, you know what I'm saying, myself and cutting all loose ends away, from, you know, anything holding me back. Um with my relationship with Jesus Christ, bro, just really just growing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just got a lot of growth. I said this third quarter of this year, <clears throat> third and fourth quarter gonna be the best time of my life. Gonna be like the best break. Right? Like, bro, it's gonna be the best. Mm -hmm. You know? And mm -hmm. then I said after that, just forever it's just gonna be just abundant for me, bro. Like yeah. I just wanna, like I'm, I'm just walking like I said, bro, in obedience. Like you know that. what I'm saying? Like I'm that. tired of missing out on my blessings, just being out of disobedient. You know what I'm saying? So July was a great month for me, bro. And I'm ready for August, September, October, November, December. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm just gonna go harder, bro. This what stuff, about you? Stuff. Man, my July, it was challenging. You know, um, mm. the business, uh, we had some, we had a good Racing month set, yeah. Yeah, for, the, for the business. Uh, hoping that, hoping that carry on this month right. and forever, like you were saying. Personally, man, I made up in my mind, no more excuses. Mm. No more excuses. I can't keep, um, staying up late and mm -hmm. not waking up early. I need even if I do stay up late, I gotta I gotta wake up early. I gotta right. do my thing because like I told y'all, man, when I don't wake up, I just feel horrible. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I was like, man, from here on out, no more excuses. I gotta stop yeah. making excuses because I'm I be so down about it after the fact. Right. And man, it's it's perfect that um, you know, you guys, we talked uh, last podcast about. Um, you know, so separating, you know, um, surrounding yourself around great people. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> pretty much what we're going to talk about uh, today, you know, uh, after the podcast last week, Ross, he was telling me, man, hey, I wanted to go even harder on mm -hmm. how people got to separate from things. And I wasn't even like thinking about that during yeah. the podcast. I was just like, man, we got to separate from people in order right. to be successful. Right. But Ross put it on my head like, nah, that's one, that's step one. Yeah, yeah. But you really need to do that, and there's certain things that people need to separate themselves for, um, from in order to get to that next level. And that's like for me, like I was saying, man, no more excuses. I gotta stop making excuses in a lot of areas in my yeah. life because I have been making a lot of excuses for a lot of things. And man, it's a challenge, bro, because you know we be on here, we be trying to you know be positive be 100 percent, everything like that but man we're still human being and we still mess up and i i had to let people know uh her reason like i'm human like like you all be like yeah. hey we're human and it's like man i'm gonna mess up like let me know what's going on tell me <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i can try to correct it man but yeah. um yeah so this podcast you guys we want to just talk about um pretty much that separated from things or separating from bad habits because man it's just like last last week, man, it's it's so easy to get caught up in those bad habits. And Ross, what I was thinking about, um, as far as with bad habits and good habits, mm -hmm. um, you know, when somebody do like a bad habit, it's instantly gratified, that instant yeah. gratification. Right. You know what I'm saying? And good habits, they usually take time to like see. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's why I was like, okay, that's why people do a lot of bad habits. Because let's like, say for example, you shoot, 
eat a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. Instantly, you're going to be like, oh, this mud is good. Yeah, yeah. But long term, that mud is, you know, doing oh, something yeah, to your body. Up, yeah. And on the flip side, if you eat a salad, yeah. it ain't instantly, you, you ain't you ain't getting none out of it right where your body is, but right, like right. the mind, you like, it don't taste good. So yeah, it's like, yeah. bro, like, what, what are you doing? You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's like with a lot of things, like a lot of people, they're doing a lot of bad habits because mm -hmm. right now it just seems good. Mm -hmm. when, and in reality, it's messing you up. And on the flip side of that, you doing something good, you like, man, I don't see no results. You working out, mm -hmm. like when you first go work out, that first day or first whatever, you work out, your body sore in the mud. Yeah. You sore. You yeah, like, man, too. what am I doing this for? But if part. you keep progressing, yeah. then, then you're going to slowly start seeing them yeah. changes yeah. within your body. So, mm. man, I'm going to just let Ross mm. uh, take over because, man, I love how you came out yeah. and you was like, people need to separate from things and, yeah. and people and things. So what, what yeah. you got to say? And man? I want to go deep and we finna keep it real on the podcast. Okay, it's cool. You know, we talked about separating from people, but it's so much deeper than that because once you separate from the people, it's time to really look into your life and that habit or that addiction you may be going through. Mm. That's what you got to really focus on. Like you said, that's what you really got to separate from. It's like you said, it take time. And don't nobody want to look at themselves and just really look at the truth. You know, they want to just, like you said, do the easy route. It's easy to get a cheeseburger. It's easy for me to continue the bad habit because I don't want to deal with it. And a lot mm. of people just don't want to deal with it. Mm. So once you separate from your friends, you got to really deal with yourself because, man, it's, it's been to get real. You know, this podcast is about to get real. Even for me, I'm going to speak on myself. Uh, a lot of people go through a lot of things, you know, uh, addictions. Man, I was addicted to alcohol. You know, mm. when God separated me from the friends that I was hanging with, he had to set me free from that. And I thought I could do it on my own. I tried to do it on my own when I was with my friends. But, of course, you know, when you're hanging with the people, you're going to mm. continue to drink with yeah. those people but when i separated myself you know it was still a little difficult for me but god delivered me from there because i couldn't do it on my own and it goes back you know what i always preach what et just preached this past uh uh saturday you were telling me about mm, yeah. i can do all things through jesus christ you know and it truly took him to deliver me from alcohol like dude we we finna get real because even with pornography okay. you know i was i was addicted to that at one point in my life but Jesus Christ set me free from that, mm. you know, and, and I'm not ashamed about it because I know what he done for me. And it's a lot of people in this world, men and women, that's addicted to pornography. You got to separate yourself from that friend and you got to really look into your life and get separated. You got to get detached from that thing that's holding you back from your destiny. Because a lot of people are suffering with that. A lot of people are suffering with drugs. You got to separate. We talked about that last week, but you got to separate yourself from drugs. You got to, you know what I'm saying? All those bad habits. I only want to speak on the good habits. I want to talk about the bad habits that people not truly looking into their lives. Like you really got to look deep inside of your life and say, man, this is real. Mm. This is holding me back. This is a stronghold over my life. And you got to really put in the work for it. If you know whatever, you, uh, whatever uh, that thing that's leading you to that, to that addiction, to that uh, bad habit, you got to, that's the work. That's the work you got to really put in. You got to be like, okay, listen. This morning I gotta wake up. I can't go down that road because it's gonna lead me to that road, to lead me to the addiction that I was doing. I can't go past the liquor store, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna be tempted to go into the liquor store. Yeah. yeah so you yeah. gotta really redirect your life and really work on your life. Really work on it. After you separate from your friends, you gotta really work on your life and see what bad habits that that uh that I'm doing. What's deep inside me that I have to get detached from. Because that's what rule. If you want to get to that next level, I mean, you can go to the next level with having bad habits. You can. No, you, you, really you can. can. Yeah. You really can. It's, it's a lot of people here on earth. But if you truly want to live a successful life, and I'm not just talking about money, I'm talking about just a, a free life. That's what Jesus has set me on, man. I live a free life. I, I don't owe nothing. I, no chains holding me back. I mean, I'm, I'm set free. I got delivered from alcohol, delivered from pornography, delivered from cursing. Deliver from uh, uh, lusting after women. Deliver from all those things, bro. And it's it's a beautiful feeling, bro. And it all came from what we talked about last week, that separation, bro. And then he had to separate me from those bad habits. Mm -hmm. But it took work on me, though. Because I thought I could do it on my own. But it took work for me because it, it, it took work like, hey, if you truly want this to happen, God like saying, you still got to put in that work. I'm going to set you free. Mm -hmm. and Because he give us choices. If that bad habit pop up in my life, I got. I have a choice. Say, okay, I'm gonna do it, or I'm not gonna do it. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to change up my routine. You can't just be on the phone just scrolling, looking at women. You, you know, that causes you to look into pornography. You got to cut that off. Yeah, you, gotta, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? You got to cut that bad habit off. You got to cut whatever leading you to that. You got to cut it off. So you got to cut the, the middle road before you You got to cut it off. You yeah. got to cut it off. Yeah. And I just want to keep it real on this uh, podcast, bro, because... A lot of people need to hear that and a lot of people struggling in life. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. they probably looking at us like, okay, Doug Ross, I separated from the friends I've been on there. But I'm still getting held back because you're not looking into your life. And you got to separate from them things, those strongholds that's over your life. And you got to truly, and I know I talk about Jesus a lot because he's real. I'm telling you, he, he set me free. He broke me free from those things. And there's so many things I can't even think of right now that he didn't deliver me from. Mm. But man... Those was the main things that I struggled with growing up, you know what I'm saying, as a child. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people scared to, to be vulnerable to people and things like that. Like, they scared to let people know what they're going through because they scared to get laughed at. And it's yeah. not a laughing matter. I wish somebody was there for me. I wish I could go tell a friend. I think I told you that, Doug, you know what I'm saying, a, long, a while back. But I wish somebody was there for me, you know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, get a, build a prayer life because Jesus is there for you and he will break those strongholds in your life. Now, man, I can tell my story. And, can't nobody you laugh at me that's cool i'm set free you still hurting mm, <laughs> you mm, feel me you know what i'm saying because you scared to look at yourself i'm good on my end like can't nobody laugh at me bro you know what i'm saying so man you you really got to separate yourself from no bad habits because it's such important role if you want to grow in life mm -hmm. i'm not talking about successful right i'm talking about grow you know what i'm saying like your mind level you know what i'm saying so man yeah that's what i gotta got on it man just I truly want to let people know that. Yeah, no, and, yeah. and like I said, man, that's it's great that you <clears throat> told me about that because I wasn't even thinking about. Like I said, I was just thinking about separating from people. You right. know what I'm saying? And bro, it's 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 the things that you're doing on a daily basis that's yeah. messing messing you up as well. That's messing people up as Not well. The, the habits, the bad habits that you're doing on a daily basis is yeah. messing you up and. You right, like I just said, man. Right now, instantly, you like, oh man, this feel great. But you already know in the long run, this is messing you up, man. Like you got all these bad habits going on. Like Ross said, you need to take a deep dive in yourself. God is gonna help you, but He's still gonna give you that option. You can either do this or that. But at the end of the day, you gotta make that decision. You gotta yeah. make that change for your life. Like I said, like we were saying on uh, with the podcast, man. You gotta elevate. You gotta you gotta mm. separate so you mm. can elevate mm. your life, man. Mm. And that. It's, it's so deep, y'all. And you gotta get into that, Doug. You gotta get into what you that, mean? bro. What you mean? That's deep what you're saying, bro. <laughs> you gotta elevate for real, bro. Like real talk, yeah. you, you gotta separate from these bad habits, mm -hmm. these bad things in order to elevate your life because it's holding you back yeah. so it's it's holding you back so much. And I can just think about like, bro, people that's um dealing with, you know, financial problems yeah. or relationship problems, like it's it's these bad habits, the reason mm -hmm. why your life is the way it is today. Mm -hmm. Like in your relationship. It's bad habits that you're doing. The reason why your relationship not getting to that next level. Mm. You're not taking responsibility. You're not mm. taking accountability. You're always putting the blame on other people. Mm. And look look at your life. You, it's not taking you nowhere. Your relationship still is stands still because right. you are you not taking responsibility. You not mm. self you not self reflecting mm. in your finances. You wonder why your bank account are always low, but every time you see a sale or something, you the first one on it. Right. You every time something drops, you gotta go pay for it. Mm. You gotta go buy it when you don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah. But then you behind on rent or you can't get mm. whatever you whatever you was trying to get because you not spent all this money. But at the end of the day, look at what you're doing, look at your bad habits. You yeah. need to form good habits. You yeah. need to start reflecting, looking at your life. What do I wanna do? <laughs> and Ross, it's so important right. because yeah. Bro, I always look at the bigger picture, and me and you are both yeah. on. We're not on that instant gratification nah, stuff because we not. understand. Right. We understand, and your bad habits all all the instant gratification. Yeah. But what are you getting in the long run? You ain't got nothing planned for the long run because mm. all your stuff is instant. All your stuff yeah. is right now. I'm going to get this, this, yeah, this, yeah. this, this. Mm -hmm. You have no plan for mm -hmm. the long run, and that's mm -hmm. what we own. And I feel like, bro, that's what successful people be on, that yeah. they not on that instant gratification because they understand I put this work in now yes. and whatever. I put this work in my relationship. Yes. I put this work in my finances. I put this work in my health yes. right now. Yes. I'm going to get the results later on. Right. And a lot of people, these bad habits are eating you up. And you don't, you probably don't even understand. It's because I know when I was in that, in that mode, I didn't really understand. So I had to take myself out of that situation and mm -hmm. actually look at it. So right now you're probably going through it. You mm -hmm. don't even know it, but you need to, bro, you need to elevate your life you need to yeah. separate from these things you need to right. elevate your life because right now man you are in a bad position you in right. a bad position man right. so and what about for the people that, that say well i'm making money 
Like, hey, I'm I'm good. I don't have to look at those. Uh, I don't have to look at those things. And that's what we talk about that success role. We're not. We're not. When you hear us talk about success, we're not just talking about money. We're not. We talk, man. We got one life to live, and I want to live it to the fullest. I want to be obedient to God, and I want to live. I want to live it to the fullest. I, when I say success, I'm not talking about money. Mm. I'm talking about success, like does there in relationships, success in my family, success in my friendship. And them hundred, that, that hundred percent that we always talk about. I cannot just say, "Hey, I'm making money. I'm not finna deal with what I'm going through. I'm not. I, I'm making money. I'm not finna deal with my bad habits. I'm good. I'm making money. That's all that matters, right? Because the system talk about that. Mm. System put the money so number one for they some do. reason, yeah. and that's really yeah, not number do. one. Mm. That's not number one in your life. That's not like that. Money is a tool. It's truly a tool, and I'm giving y'all too much information. <laughs> but nah, it really is a tool. You know what I'm saying? You like like Doug said, you see that sale? You can use it sometime for that tool. You know what I'm saying? It can create a bad habit. You know, if you know that you're you behind on rent and things like that. But money is a tool, man. We're not when we say success, we're talking about hundred percent in all areas. Like for real. You can't give that excuse, be like, I'm making money, I'm not finna look into my bad habit. If you wanna be number one, like Doug, I would say the goat in your family, or you wanna be the best you on this earth, man. Like you got to truly dig into yourself, dive into <coughs> yourself and see what you're addicted to. What's your bad habits? What's holding you back from getting to that point in your life where you set free? Because yeah. a lot of people are locked down on earth, bro. A lot of people are locked down. What you mean they locked down? Uh, that bad habit keeping them, bro. Mm. Again, like I said, I said the alcohol, the mm. drugs, the pornography, uh, the, uh, the uh, man, I don't even want to yeah. get that. I don't want to get that deep with that other. I, what I'm about to say, bro. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of things holding people back, man. And they scared to go to that mirror and look at him, and they scared to say, "Hey, I want to deal with it, but not me." I'm telling you, Doug. I looked at. I said, "Lord, I I, I want to be set free from this. Mm. Like this mm. is holding me back. Mm. Like I can't be my best self because once I used to do it, bro." Or whatever it may be, alcohol or whatever, bro. I used to tell the Lord, say, Lord, I'm through drinking alcohol. Next weekend, I'm drinking again. Boy, I said that so many times. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Everybody I'm drinking, say that. Like, bro, I wake up with a bad hangover, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But how can that be something good, you know what I'm saying, if you feel like that the next day? Instant, instant gratification. Yeah. You know, know what I'm saying? Is. But you feel bad the next day. Yeah. I'm talking about hangover, hurting, throwing up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It with pornography, you be like, after you get through looking at it, you do what you do or whatever. And then you just like, bro, why I do that stupid stuff? Yeah, yeah. That was stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Feel bad. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I can talk about it freely because I'm set free. I'm trying to tell y'all. But, but I'm just saying, and it took a while for me to be set free from those things. Mm -hmm. It just didn't happen overnight. I had to pray. Lord, I'm going through it. Like, I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? I messed up. I messed up plenty of times, but I messed up twice. I said, Lord, you know, I'm done with that alcohol. And I was through, I've been set free, man. How many years? Three, four years now? Mm, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like, for real, bro, I'm set free. Yeah. And that's where you want to, that's what you want to be in your life. You want to be set free from no bad habits and just start being on no good habit roles. Like, with me, man, I'm in the Word, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm truly in the Word. I'm, I'm walking in that obedience. Mm. I want to love people. You know what I'm saying? I want to enjoy. No bad habits keep you from doing those good things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They truly do. <clears throat> no, you you right, man. And I just want to, bro, really just talk. I know you said earlier you didn't want to get it. You probably didn't want to get into the good habits, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, about a couple minutes ago. But, man, I really want to just talk to them about, you know, some good habits that, yeah. you know, people can, you know, take away from the things that we're saying. Because, mm. you know, we always tell them, like, like we're talking about today, okay, bad habits, cut them off. And you, and I like how you said it. You got to yeah. cut off that middle ground because, gotcha. like you said, when you, if you pass by that, for the people that's addicted to alcohol, yeah, yeah. you pass by that liquor store, you the more tent. tempted to stop. So you got to go the long way around, right. the, the, uh, the other way, uh, route around. And man, just like some good habits, like I'm going to talk about mine first and then I'll let you just talk mm -hmm. about some good habits that people can add to their lives. Man, with me, like I said, I'm not perfect. So all these habits that I'm doing or trying to do right now, I'm, I mess up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> Obviously, I always talk about going to sleep early. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all, man, it's so important for you to go to sleep early so you can wake up early. And man, it's a lot of a lot of things can be like related with not getting enough sleep. Like as far as like stress, mm -hmm. like when you not when you don't get enough sleep, stress, blood pressure can go up. All these type of things. And I'm dealing with high blood pressure, so it's like, man, I have to go to sleep. I have to get enough. How many hours <laughs> I'm supposed to get? Six to eight hours right. a night in order to like keep my blood pressure at a good uh at a good temp, bro. So it's yeah. like going to sleep early, man. Self reflecting. Like I told myself today, I said, man, I'm going to have to work better on my communication skills. Mm. Well, I said this yesterday, oh, about today. Yeah. I have to work on my communication skills. The way I talk to people, mm. um, the way I, I 
bro, just everything like communication, like me listening to people, because that's important as well. They right. say, man, you got two ears, you got one mouth, so you're supposed right. to listen more than you, than you speak. So it's like, <laughs> I have to learn how to really listen to people. And when people are talking to me, and I mess up on this a lot now, like when people are talking, I don't listen to, well, I listen to respond. Uh, you know right. what I'm saying? I need to start back listening to actually listen. gradually like yeah. get what you're saying and then yeah. give my input instead of just right. trying to respond. And that messes me up in relationships. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm listening. Yeah. Just, I'm, I'm okay, go on and talk. Mm -hmm. You tell me your point. I, I, tell, yeah. Even though I heard everything you just said, I really yeah. want, but I'm ready to get my point out to mm -hmm. you. And it's not supposed to be like right. that. And that may be something that people are um, messing up in relationship yeah. as well. You just listening to respond. You're not even listening to get what the other person saying. You just yeah. want to get your point out the way. And bro, bro, relationships, man, it's bro, <laughs> it's so many bad habits that that be in relationship yeah. these days. Yeah. And it's like, man, like we have to work on it. Like I said, um, listening just to respond, man, trying to down the other person when you when you mm -hmm. upset it's just like a whole bunch of things that a lot of people right. have um in relationships and man you want to get to that next level um but besides communication man i was just talking about um exercising man i haven't walked mm -hmm. or, or ran in like two weeks and ross man he was talking about uh we should get like a bench press you texted oh, me yeah, that, uh, this, this weekend telling me we should yeah. get bench press um so i'm just thinking about like exercising just trying to do um, stuff just to elevate my life, man. Yeah. Now, money-wise, man, financially, I don't spend money on unnecessary things yeah. a lot. The most that I spend money on now is food. You Sorry. know what I'm saying? Food. And, I, I be, and, bro, instant gratification, mm -hmm. bro. I be, oh, mm -hmm. I had, bro, I spent $40 yesterday at a burger spot. Hmm. At a burger. Well, I got, I got my, I got, I got two orders. Yeah. Um, But I could have went to... A uh, little corner store burger spot. Yeah, I could have got it for about ten dollars. But I, I was like, man, let me go to this this restaurant. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And get the burger. Yeah. End up spending forty dollars. So I was like, man, that's another habit. And every time I do it, I be like, man, it's my last time. Oh yeah, it's oh, my last time. Yeah. Just like you were saying with drinking. Yeah, when yeah. you drink, and then you be like, oh lord, I can't drink. I ain't drinking no yeah. more. <laughs> like I said, I don't know if I ever said it on the podcast, but uh, when I was in high school, and uh, we went to go smoke, and yeah. my um, the drugs it was laced with something. And I was on, I was on the bed, on my pot in the bed, and they giving me milk and stuff. I'm like, God, if you let me live, I promise I won't never smoke again. Right. And I still ended up smoking again after that. So yeah. it's like, man, in that moment, you, it's like you feel horrible, and mm. you like, God, if you get me through this, I promise I will. But right. we still mess up, and yeah. that's really not good to do. You man. know what I'm saying? But it's like I kept doing, it, and I'm glad that I'm free from that. I don't do none of that yeah, stuff no yeah, more. But it's just like different things in my life right now that, man, I'm trying to pick up on and get back on the good foot on and just good habits, bro. So, yeah. like, you got anything for, like, good no, habits? No, no, no. With good habits. You know me. I showed you my book. <laughs> I showed what, what I wrote down for my moms. Oh, yeah. What yeah. I wrote down for my girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Listening. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm trying to work on my listening skill. Now, I'm, I feel like I'm great at it. I just be like, okay. Okay, you know that's my response, fellas. Hey, sometimes you just gotta say okay. Well, females don't like that. Though, <laughs> you know, hey, fellas, just say okay. <laughs> you come back with your say so later on. You know what I'm saying? That day, don't don't let it be two or three days because they gonna hit you with it. Well, you should have told me. Listen, I'm gonna come back to you later in another hour. You know, fellas. So hey, listen. Uh, for me, man, running. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I love that good habit of mine. Waking up early in the morning, just spending that time in my word, bro. Like that's the best good habit of my life you know what i'm saying like that set the tone for me that set the tone just whatever the commandment is whatever i learned in the word bro that set the tone for me in the morning you know what i'm saying then i get to go out there go on the trail and just mm. think about life you know what i'm saying i'm out we always it's the bigger dream we always thinking big and we always thinking what we can accomplish you know what i'm saying so that's mm. that's for me that good habit of eating healthier you know what i'm saying i think i, I need to get that that good habit into me because like man it's so easy just get that burger yeah. and i love french fries oh man i can't stay out them fries man so i'm trying to build drink more water you know that's what i've been on but i'm still on the coffee joint but just the good habit just to drink water man is just that's pretty much it for me bro just like mm. you know what i'm saying just continue mm. to grow as a person and face whatever uh that's wrong in my life i'm facing it so i feel like that's a good habit to acknowledge that's important, that bro. yeah that's to really acknowledge important. that bad habit and be like hey i'm finna get this I'm gonna get this right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's yeah. a good habit, just acknowledging, bro. So yeah, yeah that's pretty much what I'm on. Yeah, and, and really take what we saying, like, in, yeah, man, within your like your your whole your your life, man. Yeah. Self reflect on whatever you going through, man. Yeah. Like you know, and I was talking to somebody this weekend, um, I forgot who it was, and they were just like, Man, I know where I wanna be in life, 
But these things are holding me back. These yeah. bad habits, because you know I like to get people's input separate. on. You know, whenever we finna, yeah, you yeah. have to separate from these bad habits. Gotcha. Like you know, you know where you want to be. You know what you want to do in life. Yeah. And you know that these bad habits that you're doing are not getting you to that level. If you right. whether that's and with that person, it was spending too much time on social media, not actually mm -hmm. researching or doing things that they need to do in order to get to that next level. But like I said, bro, it, everything keeps relating back to that instant gratification. Because when you're on Instagram, you, well, me, I get pissed off now when I'm on Instagram. Yeah. But like for others, like when you're on Instagram, you scroll and scroll and time is going by. Yeah. But it's like, man, you wasting time. That bad habit, you need to cut it off. And delete like I, the app. Delete the app. <laughs> put a timer on it. I told you I put a minute on my stuff now. So I ain't, soon as, like when I'm on Instagram, it's like I'm. I'm in a rush. Like, I'm trying to say, okay, what, what, yeah. what? After that 60 seconds gone, gone. boom, I have, I, I'm gone. I, I'm done with it. So and that's like, you working on yourself. And it is. And it's like, I, I, I seen the problem. Yeah. I'm spending hours that wasting time. Time is so important. Yes, on sir. social media, I said, man, bet. Let me just, and it was, like I said, it was making me mad. Yes, sir. It's, like, right there, I was feeling good. But after a while, bro, I'm pissed off. I wasted mm. all this time. So I'm like, man, let me put that time wrong. Mm. But it's people out there, man, you like, I know where I need to be. Yep. It, whether it's drugs that's holding you back, alcohol that's holding right. you back, friends that's holding you back, bad habits that you're doing on a daily that's holding you back. But yeah. you're like, man, like right now it, it just feels so good to do. I'd rather get this instant joy rather than working towards my dreams and goals. But, right. bro, it's like I said last podcast, your life is passing you by. Yeah. I don't know how many times we got to say it for you guys to grasp on it because I know it's a lot of people out there that's watching us. You're doing bad habits on a daily basis, mm -hmm. but you're not doing anything about it. But you, you the type that's like, okay, I'm doing, I'm doing bad habits. My life not changing. But then you still mad. You mm. mad, but you not making no mm. type of progress in order to get to that next level in your life. And like I said, with being the goat in your family, bro, mm. that means a lot to me. Yeah. Like I really want to make history in my yeah. family. I want to do the, the things for my family that they couldn't do. Well, for my kids that my family couldn't do for me, and then right. still take care of my family, y'all. Yeah. So it's like, man. My bad habits, I have to cut them off. Like it's to. it's no question. You got to. I gotta set the example for my family. Yes. Because once we do this, bro, this is gonna set an example in my entire family, bro. Yeah. Bad habits, bro. We all gonna have bad habits. Right. But I want it to work, man. When we see a bad habit, we acknowledge it right. and we try to better it. Yes, I'm sir. not trying to have no bad habit, just keep it in the yeah. dark. It's yeah. just like keep you know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. not trying to be like yeah. that. Bro, it's people out there. They bad habits, they trying to keep it in the dark. Yeah. Bro, like Ross said, man, sometimes you just gotta Bro, you got to self play. You got to take it up to God, bro. Yeah. Like, seriously, like, man, this stuff is very, very, very important, bro. Yeah. So. And, and like he said, keep you want to put it in the dark. You want to keep it in the dark. And I said a couple of podcasts, if y'all were listening, I said, man, I'm just cutting everything that's in the dark off. Mm. Everything that I'm doing in the dark, I'm cutting it off. Mm. And that's what I was doing. I was looking into my life because it start with me. It's not that it start with me. You know what I'm saying? The problems that I'm going through. So, man, I agree with you 100%, Doug, man, for real, for real. Can't just be keeping it in the dark. You got to cut that thing off in the dark and get to the light, baby. You got to address you gotta get, it, bro. You got to face it. You got to face it. You can't it. keep running from and, this. And get through it. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people got, people be praying, Lord, just don't, don't let me go. Don't let me do it. Just take it away from it. No, God wants you to get through it. Because that's why you gain wisdom, like we said, from drinking. The next day we feel bad, Lord, if you bless me out of this, I won't do it again. You're supposed to gain wisdom from it. All right, I'm going to bring you out. But you did it again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're going to keep going through that same old situation. So That's what no bad that habits, decision. bro. No bad habits bring you down. You just keep going through that same old stuff to the point to where you just have to get tired. But a lot of people in this world, mm. they just continue to do it because that's what they're used to. And they just like, I like this feeling now. You know what I'm saying? This bad habit just keep bringing me down. And they get to a, a state of mind where they think that they can't get out. Mm. You know, oh, we need to talk mm. to the people that, that think mm. that they can't get out. But you can get out. You can get out. I'm telling you, you just got to pray. Give it to God because you, you're not strong enough to even carry that weight that you done brought on yourself. You're not strong enough. I'm telling you, mm. I gave it to Jesus. It's in Matthews. I want to say chapter 11, man. Mm. He said, uh, every birth, give, it, give him all things. Give him whatever you're going through. Give it to him. He going to bring you out. He said his yoke is easy. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I'm telling you, you can get through that. But a lot of people in the mindset, they, they just feel like giving up. I formed this bad habit, but I'm going to just continue to let it keep me down. Mm. You mm. can't think like that. You got to change that mindset. Again, stop thinking about the money. Just because you making money, you feel like you're good. It's people, man, I'm telling you. People making money and they suffering. I'm talking about mentally suffering. 
they suffer because they don't want to look into their own life. They just put their money as number one and they like, hey, I'm good. I'm making money. I can ball out. I can stunt. But you behind closed doors, behind that dark area, mm. it's a lot of things that they scared to face mm. and they scared to cut it off. I'm telling mm. you, I know. I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if y'all want to get to that next level of success in your life, cut those bad habits out and walk in obedience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, man. man. Cut them out. Y'all address them. Face them. Get through them. Yes, sir. There is hope. Yes. Bro, and I just, for the people that's, like you said, it's just like giving up and just like, oh, well, this is just what I'm going to yeah. do. Man, there is hope. Like, I'm not the type of person that's, if something's just beating me down, I'm just right. going to just give up on it. Right. Because I've seen, I see people getting through stuff on it. Like I always say, bro, if somebody else can do it or get through it or whatever, I can do that as well. I'm yes, not going to let nothing wear and tear me down. Like, yes, if sir. I see a bad habit that's, that I see this messing up my life, not letting me get to where I want to be. I'm not finna make no excuses about it. I'm right. finna go after it, but I'm finna go through it. And right. y'all, it's, there is hope. You can get through whatever yeah. you're going through. I promise you, you can get through it. Man, if y'all, if it, if it's something that's like so deep that y'all just, you want to tell, bro, tell us, I'm man. I'm telling you. Hey, we, we hey, bro, are we not, we not going to laugh at you. Cause For real. We understand people go through real things here on earth. And a lot of people get laughed about, bro, you be vulnerable to us, bro. Again, I'm going to be praying for you. Like, I kid you not. I'm going to truly be there, be there to listen to you and pray for it. Because a lot of people going through things. And we're here to encourage you. Like, bro, you're going to make it. Again, we, we're here to encourage you. Hey, acknowledge that problem. If you got to call us every day or send a text like, hey, bro, I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. That's mm. what Doug here for. Because mm. we want to help people mm. on this road that we're in. Mm. I'm trying to tell you. We, we want to help people on this road that we're on. Yeah. Like, seriously. So, man, I'm for real, bro. Like, hey, man, I just want to encourage the people that's down there. Like, bro, that bad habit not going to keep you long. Keep going through it. Build that prayer life. I'm telling you, build that prayer life. Ask the Lord to take it, help you get through it and learn from it so you can help that other person that's in your life. Mm. So you can help your kids. So that's why we trying to break every time. I want Jesus to break every time before my kids get here because I don't want them to go through that. Mm. I don't want them to go through alcohol problems. I don't want them to go through pornography. I don't want them to go through lusting after women. I don't want them to go through none of those things. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to me to face them. It's up to me to get through them. It's up to me. I got to work hard so well, my you, generation won't get through. Well, you just said something, though. No, for real. You just said something, though. You said you're trying to take care of them so your kids won't have no, to go through No, I don't them. want them to go so through So do you, you feel like people, they having problems, and then them problems are translating over to their Bro, kids? no, for real. It's translated down to us. You know mm. what I'm saying? Before we got it. So we like, man, mm. if we skip the problem, our kids going to go through and it. They, if they the same it, stuff that we... And I don't want that to go through my legacy. Mm. Not my legacy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah. it stops here. It yeah. stops here. So yeah. I'm cutting it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, man, like we saying, man, form that prayer life, you yeah. guys. Man, start doing them good habits. Yeah. Man, try, try. If it's the liquor store that's, you know what I'm saying, that's bothering you, go the other way. You know what I'm saying? If it's people that's bothering you, man, separate. Yeah. Like you said, these bad habits, separate. Start forming good habits. I promise you, it's going to pay off in the long run. You yeah, may not yeah. see the result. More than yeah, likely, right. you're not going to see the result today. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But as long as you know that you're going you know in the right direction mm -hmm. taking these good steps in the right direction man your life is going to be however you visualize it Wh whatever you visualize for your life it can happen yes. it can happen okay. just because you're going through dark and rainy days because of whatever problem it can still happen mm -hmm. have hope y'all coming it's coming y'all yeah. have hope and it, it's so important that you don't ever lose faith and hope of your vision of your dreams and goals because once again, and I'm going to stop saying this, but <laughs> if another human being can do it, you can do it as well. Yes, sir. I guarantee if another human being can get through it, if another human being can um, get rid of those bad problems, those bad habits, you yeah. can do it. Yeah. Stop saying, oh, they got through it because of so-and-so. They got through it because, oh, the reason why, because they, no, you can do it as well. Stop yeah. making excuses. Forget about their life. We're talking about your life. Stop trying to put all your burdens <laughs> on other people. Yeah. It don't matter. They, I, stop giving me excuses. Stop. Stop trying to tell other people excuses and stop believing your own excuses because it's not getting you anywhere. Face the problem. Get through the problem. I promise you, it is doable. You will and you can do it. I promise you, you can do it, man. So, man, that's all I want to say, man. You got anything else for me? You know, I love you and I'm going to be praying for you. Yeah, yeah, for real, yeah. For real. Y'all, so, 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 y'all, shout out, shout out, shout out to the sponsor. Yeah. Y'all, Love Waste Management Valet Trash Service in the Dallas, uh, Fort Worth area. Y'all, check them out. Um, y'all, man, shout out to all the love that we've been getting on our podcast, you know what I'm saying, on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Pandora, Stitcher, all that yeah, good man. stuff, man. Shout out to all the love that we've been getting. Um, we do this for y'all, we do this for the people. Um, 
because we both recognized our gifts. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We were like, man, let's come up with a podcast yeah. and let's, you know what I'm saying? Inspire the people, y'all. It's the bigger dream. Yeah. So, um, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this podcast. Um, and I guess you. We'll see y'all next Tuesday. Yeah, man.